Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Jesse. And I'm Katie. Welcome to our course on demystifying views in iOS. Everything you see in an iOS app is some kind of view. They're literally everywhere. But there are probably some things you don't know about them. In this course, we'll embark on an expedition through the world of views. And see if we can clear up some of the mystery. The term view encapsulates all sorts of things you can see in iOS. There are views for images and views for text. There are views like scroll views or stack views that you just use to contain or organize other views. Even controls that you interact with, like buttons or sliders, are at their heart types of views. If you have experience using storyboards, you've probably used most of those at some point, or at least seen them as you scroll through the object library. All of those specialized views and controls eventually derive from the humble UI view class. In this course, we're going to take a close look at views and view controllers through three action-packed parts. If you started developing iOS apps after 2010, you've probably created a lot of views and storyboards. But have you heard of nibs or zibs? In part one of demystifying views, you'll get acquainted with nib files, the precursor to the storyboard. They can be incredibly handy for visually designing views you want to reuse throughout an app. By the end of this part, you'll know how to create nib files, how to connect them to code, and how to integrate them with storyboards. Part two of this course will cover a lot of ground. We'll return to the storyboards you're familiar with and take a look at the relationship between parent views and their subviews. We'll also introduce you to the scene doc. Have you ever wanted to create a view that you only wanted to appear sometimes? By the end of part two, you'll see how the scene doc can really help you out with those temporary views. To finish out the course, part three will focus on container view controllers. Those allow you to nest view controllers by embedding them in container views. You'll learn to connect multiple storyboards together with storyboard references combined with container view controllers. And after all this practice with views and controllers, we'll revisit the model portion of the model view controller pattern. You'll learn about a type of model that's especially applicable to this course, view models. To cover all of that, we're going to build an app that is also, sort of, about demystification. It's called Cardio. That has nothing to do with the cardiovascular system and everything to do with having a fun educational time with flash cards. See, our nibblings, Lily and Liam, have gotten obsessed with reading Zoologist Zoe magazine, and they're always drawing pictures of the animals inside. They obviously take after their auntie cat. But they get upset if we can't remember the names of all the animals they show us. And that's partly because their drawings are a little abstract, but mostly because we don't know the names of all the animals from around the world that they do. This cardio app will help us improve our exotic animal recall and teach us about the many ways to create, organize, connect, and control views in iOS. Now, let's go demystify them!